what is up everybody welcome back to the channel um you guys in this quick video hopefully it's a quick one man you know shit sometimes i go on rants man i apologize you know up front but it is what it is um sometimes this shit just gets me fired up and i end up talking about a bunch of random stuff but hopefully it makes sense man hopefully it makes sense and and what i'm going to cover is pretty much how not to run facebook ads okay um how not to post on just social media in general and it's and it's and it's those types of posts where you're pitching like that's where i i truly believe sells gets a bad rap because majority of people who are in sells pitch and the end consumer although we like to buy it's so crazy how we don't like to be sold we don't like to be pitched but we love to buy especially americans man americans biggest spending you know habits the economy our our economy is absolutely insanely um amazing because of capitalism and the ability to spend money people love to spend but they hate to be pitched right they hate to be sold to and so on social media it's the same you don't want to put out pitchy type of stuff out there and for sure you don't want to do that with with any type of facebook advertising now uh, now marketing and advertising 101 it's it's all about pitching you have to you have to get your message across for sure so i'm not saying you know don't don't completely pitch just be careful how you're pitching it and and that's where the whole value bringing value to your content on social media that's where that whole you know strategy and just approach comes into play whereas because now where we're at now it's so easy for people to see through you it's so easy for people to know that they're being pitched and and because everything now on social media is is most of it is in video form people can see right through you man and that's that's that that that's the problem about about pitching when you're pitching people people will end up unfollowing you they'll end up commenting you know disrespectful stuff um they won't engage with any of your stuff and if you're running any type of facebook ad they're not going to click on it right you're not going to be getting too many opt-ins because you're just full of pitch and so shout out to my buddy brad over here brad a few days ago he dropped this question um do you think this is good enough go on my page and do a video with pitch and call to action then boost the video post to a saved audience of 20 miles um, of my area this right here brad i'm telling you man my hat off to brad shout out to brad everyone go subscribe to brad's channel brad that that right there you couldn't have been more on point like that right there is exactly what you do however it's not just pitch what you want to start doing is educating right educating the audience so it's not about running one video and and here's my pitch you can do that you can do that but at the same time it's just one video what you want to get good at is dropping weekly videos educating the end consumer so whoever your audience is whatever whatever um um tribe you're trying to build whatever audience you're trying to gather whatever product or service you're trying to deliver that audience you want to just start educating them on the process on your product on your services on your strategies start talking about your business start talking about your product from from a, from a value and educational standpoint and start getting in the habit of making those types of videos um with a very non-aggressive and very non um um is it elusive that i'm looking for the key the, the word very nonchalant type of call to action so for example if you're educating someone on Facebook advertising, and you're taking them through a simple tutorial. Hey guys, this is what I got going on. Um, these are the ads that I currently am experiencing. We're test marketing different ones. We're split testing different ones. We have a few of them going to this web page and that web page. By you talking about what's going on and then having some type of call to action at the end. And let's say, for example, let's say you're looking for clients to run Facebook ads for. And I'm just using this as an example. You can apply this to anything. But let's say I'm 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 a Facebook advertiser and I'm actually looking for more more clients to run 
to run ads for. So in this video, I'd be showing you a tutorial of what's going on of, of current ads, maybe successes, maybe, maybe, maybe experiences, different things that are happening within that. And then at the end of the video, I would say, Hey guys, and by the way, if you run a chiropractor office, or if you run a yoga studio, or if you're like this client and, and, and you run a, a successful coffee, you know, shop, and you'd like these types of results, click learn more. It'll take you straight to my page where you can book a time to speak with me. So there could be some type of very, very nonchalant, non-aggressive type of call to action at the end, at the end of that tutorial or at the end of that educational value based content. There's a call to action at the end of it, but the entire video wasn't about a pitch. What, what this, this changed my entire perspective and this changed my entire approach. Um, a couple years ago when I learned this from Billy Jean, shout out to Billy Jean. I learned it from him because um, as I'm over here trying to sell social media clients, he said, dude, all you got to do is get results for one and then show everyone else those results. And so now all the video content that you, that, that, that I, I, I would put out, you know, from that point on would be based around results that I got from pre for four, four previous clients. That becomes my bait. That becomes my pitch. That becomes my offer. That becomes my video content. Um, where now I'm showing results, not trying to pitch you on what I, what I can maybe do for you. I'm actually showing you results of what I've already done for a, a, a yoga studio, just like yours. I'm already showing you uh, what I'm doing in this, in this video series. I'm showing you results of, of, of what I got for another coffee shop similar to yours, right? So you want to focus on one niche for sure. And I'm pretty sure, Brad, you got that part down. Focus on one because it gives you the ability to go all in with that one and just duplicate the process. Running a Facebook ad for a yoga studio and then, and then creating a landing page for a yoga studio. You do that once you master that ad, you master that, that software of creating the landing page or whatever, or the email automation, you master that once. And then you can go get 50 other yoga studios and just duplicate the process, duplicate rather than having to run different campaigns for different types of businesses, stick to one, but, but, um, stick to one and, 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 and then, and then use that, use those results as future content. And, and what you're saying here, yes, you're going to post it to your page. And then all these videos, you'll end up posting to your Facebook business page, and then boosting that not not exactly boosting it come into your ads manager and, and run the ad, right? Run the ad from your computer. Don't try to boost it from your cell phone or anything like that. Come back here to the ads manager, and actually run the ad. Um, and, and, and yes, for sure, you would run it, you would retarget any, any, any saved audience or any custom audience. What I would do rather than a saved audience is I would start creating custom audiences, start creating custom audiences around all the people who are watching your videos. Okay. Um, so, so you wouldn't need it. You wouldn't need to need to run it to a saved audience. You totally can, but where your secret sauce and where your ultimate strategy strategy is at is when you start creating custom audiences around everyone who's watching these videos. That's what you want to do. And you want to start simple, start small, start simple, start, start putting out one Facebook video ad per week, run it at five to $10 per day and run it for the week and run it under video views. Okay. To capture the audience. You turn around and, and that becomes an audience and then you run Facebook ad number two and you retarget all those viewers who watched video number one. And then week number three, you run another video view ad and you retarget everyone who watched video number one, video number two, and now you're creating a new audience of everyone who, who's watching video number three. Then in the fourth week, you go for conversions. And now we're running a conversions ad retargeting all of our viewers in all three weeks and now we're, we're, we're optimizing for lead capture. 
So, so you want to build the audience first, right? So you're on the right page as far as video, right? That for sure, you, you, you hit it on the, on the, on the, on the head with that one. You're right with that one. It's just not, not exactly hardcore pitching. Okay. Um, and then also you want to make sure that it's not just one video. I speak to many, many clients. I speak to I speak to so many business owners, you guys, and every, I'm telling you, 99% of them, 99.999% of them think that you can run one ad and that's going to be the magic bullet. It's like, dude, that cannot be further than the truth um, at all. Like that right there is, is, is false. Like you have to be putting out content, man. You have to be you have to be rolling out ads every single week. Like you cannot just, 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 just think that this one ad is going to be the, the home run hitter for you. It just, it doesn't work that way, man. You need multiple ad sets. You need multiple ads, um, which is, which is the actual content, whether it's an image ad, whether it's a video ad. Um, but in this case with video, that's what's super important is that as you run these video view ads, you can then start creating custom audiences around all those who watch them. And then as you're, and, and as you're putting out weekly video content, weekly Facebook video ads, as you're putting out these contents by the fourth, by the fourth week, you'll start now optimizing for conversions. And now we're looking for lead capture, but make sure your custom conversions are set up and make sure that you are driving it to a landing page with your Facebook pixel. That's for sure. Okay. So if you don't know how to, how to, how to create the custom conversion, stay to the end of the video. You'll see that one pop up next. Um, you have to do that first. You have to, you have to create your custom conversion. You have to set up a custom conversion around the page that you're trying to, to get leads from, right? So in this case, if you're either looking to capture a lead, you're looking for people to book an appointment, you're looking to make a sell, whatever it is, you have to create a custom conversion. Um, so, so stay to the end of the video and you'll see how to do that. Um, but that's what I would do, man, is I would start just dropping video after video after video and, and, and start, you know, start building audiences around people who are watching your stuff. And why are they watching your stuff? Because you're actually educating them. You're not just pitching them. And again, as I mentioned earlier, the pitch is at the end of the video. So as you're doing these videos, there's a small five to 10 second pitch at the end. That's the call to action. So it's not a pitch. It's a call to action getting, getting me to the next step. I just watched your video for four minutes teaching me X, Y, and Z. At the end of it, what do you want me to do? Do you want me to click learn more? Do you want me to go to your page and, and register for a webinar? Do you want me to click learn more and, 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 and schedule an appointment with, me, with you? Do you want me to click learn more and purchase something? What is that call to action at the end of the video? That's the last five to 10 seconds. That is your pitch. That's the call to action. Okay. But the first four minutes, the first four minutes should have been educational value, value or educational based. It should be, it should be valuable content teaching that person something about a result. All right. So, so use, use your existing results. If you're, if you're actually doing work for clients, I don't know exactly, Brad, what you're, what you're looking to do, but if you're doing service for clients, use those results as your videos. Okay. That becomes your ad. That becomes your video. You're using the results to get you more clients who want the same results. Okay. Um, 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 and then also, 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 um, I think that's it, man. I think that's it. Um, uh, my mind just went blank, but you're on the right track for sure, man. You're on the right track for sure. Just, um, stay consistent with it, man. Stay consistent. Cause that's another thing. Most people are not consistent. They're not consistent with Facebook ads. They're not running one every single day. Most people are not running one every single day. Okay. And, and, and you gotta be, you gotta be, cause that's the only way you're going to know if, if it, if it works. So, um, whether you're, whether you're providing a service, whether you're trying to make a sell, um, as far as like e-commerce, it's the same thing, man. People are going to become indoctrinated with your video content. Um, actually that's what I was saying. Do the, do the video views, create the custom audiences and then optimize for conversions, which is what I already mentioned, but I think that's what I was going to say again. Um, and then, and then just, and just retarget these people who are, who are watching your stuff, man. People who are watching your stuff, especially when you're teaching, 
those are interested people, man. Those are people who are finding your content relevant. They're, they're finding your content valuable. They're sitting there watching it. And that's why rather than me creating some audience, some detailed targeting, some demographics and me saving the audience, rather than me trying to, trying to think what I know or what I, the, the demographics that I think I know, rather than trying to save that audience of stuff that I think I know, I'd rather just, be, I'd rather just create an audience around people who are watching my stuff. That's, that's the best. That's why video ad, Facebook video ad is so powerful because I can just create an audience around people who watched 50% of it. It's like, dude, whether my targeting, my demographics, my age, my gender, my freaking interests, job titles of me targeting, like rather, rather than trying to mess with all that, it's like, dude, just get to the point. Here's a four minute video who watched 90% of it. Let me retarget them. And then just keep doing that over and over and over and over and over. And before you know it, man, you're, you're making sales, you're getting appointments scheduled, or you're, you're, you're getting people to register and opt in to whatever you got going on. All right. So hopefully that helped you guys. And, and Kelly down here, don't pitch, educate first. You, you couldn't have said it better, Kelly. Shout out to Kelly. Good point. Earn that respect, right? That's what it's all about, you guys. That's what it's all about. So Keep up the great word, work, Brad. Keep up the great work, Kelly. Um, if you guys have any questions, man, I'm I'm in the day to, I'm in my day to day just trenches of building an agency, getting clients, um, scaling a digital course, scaling a digital book, um, affiliate marketing, making money on YouTube. So my whole thing is online entrepreneurship. How in the heck do we get someone's attention on the internet? Get them to click on something to go and purchase something that we're selling. How does that happen? That's online entrepreneurship. And so that's what I'm dropping on this channel is just day in the life of stuff that I'm doing. Um, whether I'm doing it for myself or I'm doing it for other clients, it's just day in the life content of what I'm trying to bring over here onto YouTube. And that's why this YouTube channel is growing because I'm delivering content. I'm talking about a specific topic. I'm educating you guys on something with very, very few call to actions at the end, which, which, which ultimately, of course, we all have something to pitch. Of course, I want you to click on every damn link in the description, of course. But at the same time, if that was if it was me 15 minutes of going on a freaking rant talking about click here, click that, click that opt in, buy this shit. It's like, dude, you, none of you guys would be here. None of you guys would be here. You'd be done with my pitch in three minutes. Like you would have never went on to video number two at all. So that's why the power of video and the power of, of, of value based content is so powerful, man. You can see here with my YouTube channel, you guys are, 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 are coming and, and I'm attracting like-minded people all because I'm educating first and pitching later so bring the fire brad bring the fire continue to do what you're doing man keep up the great work and if you guys have any questions man drop me a comment below facebook ads online entrepreneurship the hustle the grind the struggle the sweat the tears the blood the everything man whatever the hell you guys got going on if you're trying to build something on the internet reach out drop me a comment subscribe smash the bell for notifications and i'll do my best to answer it in my perspective. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Over and out.